specialized knowledge. What does that mean to you? Uh, what would you say that it is? How would you describe it? I think I think it's super simple. Um, to what's the saying? To be master of uh, jack of all trades, master of none. Yeah. I think that's what we want. We poke at one bag for uh, two or three times and mm-hmm. we're like, oh, I, that job wasn't for me. Let me go try this job. Let me go try that job. We never actually stick with anything. Yeah. Um, and so we we have um, a lot of experience, but it's all really shallow. It yeah. doesn't actually mean anything. We're, right. we're an inch deep and a mile wide, but what really needs to happen is be a mile deep and an inch wide. Mm-hmm. Um, I think if we master one uh, one area in our lives at a time, we can master a lot of different areas, but not at, not all at the same time. Sure. Right? If we master one area and then grow and expand on that, yeah, I think then we'll take it to the next level. Yeah, yeah. There's there's this great uh, consultant. His name is Sam Ovens, and he specializes yeah, yeah. in yeah, yeah. And he talked about he did a video one time where he talked about how. The grass isn't always greener on the other side. It's greener where you water it. Exactly. So, and I, that was like almost life changing when I heard that because it was like, well, it's true. You know, mm-hmm. I'm, you know, you know me. I mean, I like the, the lawn mm-hmm. and it's, you know, I'm constantly, if I'm out there like really catering to it or watering the mm-hmm. lawn, I'm going to have the greenest lawn in the block. But again, it's not because I just walk out there and, you know, and it happened. There's a lot of different steps that go into it. But, you know, it's really just about specialized knowledge mm-hmm. and knowing where you're, like you said, I mean, you, you know, the 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 going back to Tony Robbins, the um, the repetition is the mother of skill. Mm-hmm. So the more that you just kind of like keep watering your grass, as Sam Robbins would say, that the greener it's going to be, yeah. and then the more likely you're to be able to put yourself in that position yeah. of the overnight success mm-hmm. guy. Yeah. yeah. One thing I love about Sam Robbins is that uh, he. In, in his trainings and things, he's very specific. Very specific. Very clear on what what you need to mm-hmm. um, accomplish. Yeah. Right? Yeah. Um, it's not just, this is how I'm going to help you make um, 100 grand this year. Mm-hmm. It's, what do you want? Mm-hmm. And I'm going to help you get it. Yeah. Right? Yeah. Um, and I love it. Specialized knowledge. Yeah. Yeah. yeah I think it's really important. Yeah. And, uh, you know, the thing, too, that he talks about in the book is that the more, you know, like, kind of like the infinite knowledge of the universe, it'll give you whatever you want. Mm-hmm. You just have to be very clear about it mm-hmm. to be able then to move into uh, the things that you want in life. And the easiest way to do that is just keep focusing on mm-hmm. one thing and one thing and one thing. And then before you know it, people are coming to you just like they are to Sam Ovens about that that specialized mm-hmm. knowledge that he has to be able to help him kind of move in there. And, and the thing too is that, you know, like if he was, you know, his thing is, is brought in the consultancy mm-hmm. part of things, but, you know, he's focusing on that one thing, that specialized knowledge of the consultant part of things. And he's not talking about 10 other things. Yeah. He's just getting better and better. Mm-hmm. And you even, if you if you know anything about Sam Ovens, he's constantly looking at like, how do I improve on this specialized mm-hmm. knowledge? How do I get better and offer a better program? And, and one of the things too that he is really big on, and I think everybody should be, and I think a lot of people aren't, mm-hmm. is that how do I give you more value than I'm asking for in yeah. return? And I think that's really a big part of like what a lot of people are missing is that they're constantly looking at, let me get something for nothing. And then I just want to make a bunch of money. And again, Napoleon talks about that a lot in here is that it just doesn't really even, uh, it doesn't happen. Mm -hmm. And that again, kind of going back to the depression, he talks about like how that's essentially a pop that happened because all these people were looking for something for nothing Mm -hmm. when you could just be looking at. How can I add? How can I give you so much value that you can't say that there's essentially there's no buyers no brand. Yeah. right yeah. exactly yeah and and that's uh, I have that thought a lot and that's the first step in how I'm personally going to accomplish my ten million mm-hmm. is be such a massive value add to the industry or to the market that it's just a no brainer yeah. Yeah. And I think that's great. And and like you said, I think that there's just so many people that do focus on they put that desire and they put that faith and they put that auto suggestion in something really hard for ten minutes mm-hmm. and then it just doesn't work out yeah. and then they're like, Well gosh, let me just move on to the next thing. Yeah. Let me go spend more money on 
the next Sam Ovens. Yeah. Right? yeah. See if that one works. Yeah. And he even talks about it in this video. You can find it on YouTube, but he talks about how, you know, like the longer you do something, he was kind of talking about like the six or seven year break. Mm -hmm. You know, that's really where those overnight successes happen. Yeah. And then, you know, Napoleon even said that when you are, he says money consciousness, that's how he words mm -hmm. it. But when you are like so prepared to receive that, that money, and again, it doesn't have to be, everybody just talks about the money, but it, it, it doesn't have to be money. It could be love or it could be um, fill in the blank, whatever it is that you're looking for. Mm -hmm. When you put yourself in that consciousness, in this case, money consciousness, that it comes to you so fast that it's like overwhelming. But again, it's not coming to those people that have been doing it for 10 minutes and giving up because... Mm -hmm. Fate's almost kind of testing. Are you really worth their wit? Right? Yeah, yeah. Are you worth? Are you worth this? What you're looking mm -hmm. for? And he even talks about a lot, a lot of times. It's it's most of the times those guys are getting it after they have failed a kajillion mm -hmm. times. He the cool one of the coolest things out of this book is when he talks about how Edison took him ten thousand mm -hmm. times to figure out the light bulb. You know, and and what was it? The condens condensancy uh, of the something about oh, the yeah, yeah. the tube over the light bulb uh -huh. is all he needed because yeah. the air just kept smothering the, yeah. the flame of the light bulb. But you would think of something like Edison. It's like, well, you know, we're coming to you for because of power right now. Yeah. Had he not had that specialized knowledge of this mm -hmm. one tiny little light bulb and the desire to figure out how to bring that without you know like a flameless light and the faith. And the auto suggestion and the specialized knowledge yeah. that there's a good chance that we could be sitting here and have this yeah. conversation completely by ourselves yeah. and not be able to like use something like YouTube to be able to yeah, yeah. you know push it to other yeah. people. Yeah. So it just it, it's it's pretty cool. Yeah. Is there anything else you want to add about specialized knowledge? No, I think I think that's one of the simplest principles. Yeah. Yeah. Get on something, stick with it, and eventually you'll you'll accomplish whatever you set your mind to. Yeah. You just got to stick with it. And the cool thing, I think every one of us has something.